especially his brother. When I started watching this show, I was bored. This show had a harder time keeping my attention than any other Nicktoon, including Doug and Tough Puppy. The quality of the writing here is so banal that it should have been placed on Nick Jr. I am not kidding. The jokes are that incredibly forced and weak, and the humor the show uses is much more in sync with Dora the Explorer than SpongeBob SquarePants. Anyway, I was bored until we got the first Garth episode. Kinda Garth. I hate Monster. I really hate this stupid pile of puke. He makes Patrick Starr look like a Nobel Prize winning scientist, and that's in Patrick's bad appearances. Monster is incredibly stupid. That is his personality. And I guess liking Bacon like everyone else in the show. And this show has all of the hallmarks of bad writing that comes with stupid characters. The plot moves wherever the writers wanted to because they have a character who breaks shit for no reason. He ends up being the moral center of the jerk despite having no real morals, hurting everyone else and simply not caring. All of the humor amounts to either him getting hurt or him hurting others. That tells you everything that you need to know. The show feels like it was designed in a rock tumbler. Absolutely nothing about it comes together. In a good show, all of the pieces are supposed to play off each other very well. But no, with these characters and this humor, it just doesn't work. With the attempts at humor, there is no room for any kind of storytelling. And the concept? What the hell even is the concept of the show? Robots and monsters come together over their love of bacon. That is not a concept. That is a game of Mad Libs. No, no, this show is one of the worst. It, it's probably not my least favorite Nicktoon ever, but it's definitely in the bottom ten. Fanboy and Chum Chum, All Grown Up, even Planet Sheen. They're all better than whatever the hell this is. Avoid it like the plague. There is a reason the show is made available with Nickelodeon's Noggin app. If you don't know, Noggin is essentially the Nick Jr. equivalent of the Nicktoons network. It's a channel that plays nothing but preschool shows. And to be brutally honest, this show is even behind its peers there. Shows like Little Bear, The Backyardigans, Ozworld, and Nihai Kawan have more talent and skill in one episode than this show had for its entire run.